Okay, so I've got a really cool debugging tip today. Uh, first of all, let's just show that I've got a single HTML page here with one JS script, which is this one here. In this script at the top, I've got a user object. And inside that object, we've got two properties, ID and some setting, which is active at the moment. And then down here, we have a set timeout, which after three seconds, changes the some setting property to be inactive. And then we console log the setting. So if I just run this in the browser here, we get the setting is active, one, two, three, the setting is now inactive. Okay, that's fine. So imagine if we were working with this object from say another function or another JS file, but we were finding that for some reason this property was being changed perhaps by another class or another function entirely. So in that case, what we can actually do is we can include this function here so this function will let us define a getter and a setter for the particular object property. And then we'll be able to actually see and start debugging when that property is changed. Okay, so now that we have this debug changes function in our code, we need to apply it to the property that we want to watch for changes. So what we can do is say debug changes and we can say the object is user and the property is some setting. Okay, so now if I rerun this, then hopefully because we've defined a getter and a setter and the setter is going to debug and kick off the DevTools debugger when you basically set the new value for this property, hopefully we're going to see the debugger pop up and we're gonna know exactly what's changing this property. So let's give that a go. If I rerun this in the browser, the setting is active, three seconds. <laughs> here we are, we're paused in the debugger. You can see right here, we've got the debugger. We know this is our code already. This is the script, the debug changes script. But to find out exactly what was changing the property, we need to look at the call stack here and go straight into the anonymous function, which in this case is our set timeout. Look at that, there it is. We found what was changing that property. How cool is that? Thanks for watching.